All right, here we are at the uh, Cooks Brook at it, level one east. And we are, uh, we're gonna explore inside this one today. All right, here we are just sticking our head inside the portal. As you can see, uh, there is water involved. About a foot, foot and a half at the beginning and then as you go, it gets lower and lower and lower. And... All right, we're pumping up the dinghies for the trip underground. This is a watery adit, so we've got two dinghies here and we're going to need them both to do the travel. We found the, uh, the geocache that was hidden here by the adit. I knew there was one here from online, so it includes a log book. There's a little, uh, little armadillo. And according to, the, uh, according to the log book, the last person here was, uh, yes, August 14th, 2014. The Wolf Pack. We're gonna add our names to it. his last photo before death. <laughs> All right, we're in the boats and uh, here we are at the beginning and we're ready to be off to the races. So let's start. All right, here's a look at the water. Like I say, here at the beginning, it's approximately, uh, oh, maybe a foot and a half deep. All right, we're about a fifth of the way down on the Cooks Brook, level one east. And we just keep pushing into the darkness. And as you can see, beautiful hard rock at it. And there's looking back towards the portal. We're about a third of the way now. All right, here's kind of a stoked out area. The ceiling goes way up. Beautiful. And down at the portal, looking back, there's the pinhole of the opening. And he's way up ahead, but uh, you can see him down there, breaking all new ground. Another bit of timber there. You can find these every once in a while, just stuck into the wood. They've rotted down to just about nothing at this point. All right, we're about halfway down, halfway in. And as you can see, it doesn't really change much. It's just a constantly straight and long at it. But here at this point, you can hear some, uh, some water. Here's the source of the noise. This spring shooting out of the side of the wall. She's ready to burst, folks. The bulkhead is ready to burst. And we're about three quarters of the way at this point. 
the boating continues. The water's getting uh, much shallower now. Around a foot at this point. And it does end up here at some point where we can get out and walk. Okay, just wanted to show you here some uh, timbers in the water at the front of the boat. One has fallen over, but this one does go up and is still uh, propped against the ceiling. There we go. It's a slimy old rotting log. It's not holding up nothing. All right. Here we are at the end, 700 feet in. And that's looking back down the adit. You can see the, the portal way in the distance down there. And we've, we've gotten out of our, our dinghy boats because the water is now shallow enough that we can walk in it. Now up here is the end. The water is uh, coming out of the walls here. Yeah, the water is just uh, wanting to push itself out of the earth down here underneath the mountain. As you can see on the floor, we, we come up out of the water. So here at the end, there are ore cart tracks that uh, they didn't take these out, but they would have probably, well, they would have run the entire length of the adit to get the ore out of here. But there are your tracks with the water just a rushing down. So here at the end, it just ends. There's looking up into the ceiling. They just stop right here. And there's more water here on the back wall flowing down. All right, here we are almost back and there's the portal up ahead. This time I'm in the lead. There's actually, uh, it's so cold in here, there's fog in your breath. We are done, we are out, we are muddy, but we made it. We're alive, woo! <laughs> and that brings us to the end of uh, Cooksbrook, level one, east.